Today on Boys in Blue News, we bring you the latest updates from the Toronto Maple Leafs. After the defeat to the Boston Bruins, Mitch Marner's situation is sparking intense debates and heated opinions among fans and the Leafs community. Let's delve deeper into how these criticisms are impacting the team. Keep an eye out so you don't miss any details. And don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all the news and actively participate in our Leafs community. Your subscription is crucial to strengthen our passion for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Following the disappointing loss of the Leafs to the Boston Bruins, Mitch Marner finds himself in the spotlight, facing increasing criticism for his performance on the field. The images of Marner throwing his gloves on the bench in frustration have left fans outraged, sparking a wave of negative comments on social media. The situation escalated further with William Nylander seemingly reprimanding Marner during the game and Austin Matthews clearly showing his frustration. Marner's behavior was heavily criticized by hockey personalities such as Kelly Hrudy and Paul Bissonnette, who were very vocal in expressing their opinions on the matter. Despite the criticisms, coach Sheldon Keefe defended the team's effort, arguing that the players are competing and giving their best. However, fans are raising questions about the team's performance and the lack of significant changes within the organization. With the series' prospects appearing challenging, the future of the Leafs and the accountability for their recent setbacks are being widely questioned. Fans are wondering if the team's issues go beyond Marner's individual performance and are demanding answers regarding other aspects that might be contributing to the team's struggles. In the face of the recent criticisms towards Mitch Marner and the performance of the Toronto Maple Leafs, it is clear that pressure is mounting around the team. While it's easy to blame a specific player, like Marner in this case, the truth is that the responsibility for a team's performance goes far beyond a single individual. It is essential for the Leafs to reassess not only the on-field performance, but also the team's cohesion as a whole. Trust and communication among players are essential to achieve success in sports, and it is necessary for everyone to work together to overcome challenges and achieve goals. At this critical moment, fans and team managers need to reflect on what truly matters in hockey the passion for the game, and the desire to win together. Criticisms can be constructive if they serve as a catalyst for change and improvement. What are your thoughts on this situation involving the Leafs? How do you think the team can overcome these challenges and get back on the path to victory? Share your opinion in the comments below and join the discussion. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel for more updates, and enable notifications so you don't miss any details about the Leafs.